Hey, what's up? I'm Brian from RC Creative, and today I'm just going to do a quick how-to about one of my many hobbies. Um, today it happens to be being a worm farmer. Um, I've got a couple of worm bins that I raise red worms in. I use them for fishing, but I mostly just use the uh, the worm castings, aka the worm poop, for plant food. It is some of the best plant food you can get, and it's a really good way to um, compost your table scraps and uh, have some fishing worms at the same time. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I threw in some scraps. It was like banana peels and apple cores, stuff like that, that really attract fruit flies. And next thing you know, my bins just exploded with fruit fly population. And now I know better and I know how to solve the problem. So I'm gonna bring you along for the solution today. All right, so what you're looking at here is one of my worm bins. Hello. And this is the problem. Underneath this stuff, which I'll explain here in a moment, are my worms. And if we dig, we'll see we'll see them by the hundreds here. Yep. Um, here's the worms, and basically that is a lot of pretty much worm crap. Um, but you would you would put your food source, your uh, your table scraps, at this layer where the worms can get to them, kind of dig a hole, dump them in, cover it up. Um, the problem is, if you don't cover up the food scraps and this layer where the worms are, you are going to run into issues because the fruit flies will smell that, they'll come in, they'll populate, and these bins are basically just as good for growing fruit flies as they are worms, unfortunately. Um, so if you give them a food source, they're going to stay in here, they're going to lay their eggs, and you know, within really a week or so, you're going to have fruit flies like crazy and you're not gonna know what to do with them. Well, this is what you do with them. You want to add a layer of bedding over your worm bin. And what I use for bedding is either wet sawdust, which is what this is, or I use um, wet shredded paper. And not only is it good, good to uh, protect your bins from fruit flies, it's also really good food for the, the worms. They will tear through cellulose like crazy. Uh, so long as you make it damp ahead of time so it's easy for them to chew through. Um, what I do is I take a five gallon bucket, I fill it about halfway with shredded paper or, uh, or sawdust, and I have an abundance of sawdust because I do some woodworking, so that's what I use. Um, then I fill it the rest of the way with water and I really get that material saturated and damp and soft before I put it in over my worm bins. Now, what that does is it covers the food source and the flies aren't going to dig for their food the way your worms will. So by covering it up with just, you know, maybe a half inch to an inch layer of bedding material like this, you're preventing those, uh, those fruit flies from being able to smell and locate the food source and therefore they're not going to populate your bin the way they would if you just left it open, you know? All right, so that pretty much covers it. If you are into vermiculture, AKA worm farming as I call it, um, that'll solve your issue with the fruit flies. Um, real easy, just cover it up with bedding that the fruit flies have no interest in. We'll solve your problem immediately. Um, if you like worm farming, I've got a couple more videos on the topic, so I hope you'll check them out. And um, I will catch you later.